How's it going? Welcome back to another video. How fill your shirt out? This is something <laughs> like I only ever, like I only just kind of accomplished not too long ago. Like I know, like this is just a this is a large shirt. This is a large shirt. I fill it out. Do I have the? I don't know if you can. Bro, I can't be bothered, but it's large. Look, just trust. It's it's large. Um, so yeah, look honestly, it comes down to training. You obviously got to train, but there's something that's like low key more important than training, and it's diet. And look, again, it's not going to be like the thing is, if you're watching this video, you're probably going to know. Like, I'm not going to be saying anything new, but I'm going to be telling you how to accomplish it because most most people just say, "Oh, well, just eat food and uh, train, and you'll like get big." The thing is, I did that and it didn't work, at least for a long time. So before. I was doing, so I'm just going to tell you exactly, like, I'm not going to say this is 100% the best way to do it, but this is the way I achieved it. Before I was training calisthenics and I didn't really care about my, like, I had a good diet. I didn't eat really anything like super bad. I just ate what my mom would make. And obviously it depends on like what kind of food your mom makes. Um, I live in like a pretty like healthy family. So, um, bro, I'm not going to lie. I think my wisdom tooth is coming out. Kind of like it's kind of hurting. It's kind of hurting. Anyway, so um, I've been kind of like a healthy family, so like the food is like pretty good. Like it's it's actually pretty low calorie. Like once I started like tracking my food, I realized like damn, like I live in a healthy family, bro. Like this is like so hard to bulk in this family. But um, yeah, again, like so training. I was doing calisthenics and I just didn't really train. What happened was I became like I I looked better. Like I kind of like um. What is it called? Like comp, like recomp, like yeah, like recomposition. Which, if you don't know, it's like. So I was skinny fat. I'll, I'll have some photos. Like I was skinny fat, and then I kind of like had some muscle after a bit, but I was still skinny. Like I was still skinny, and a lot. I think a lot of people when they're starting out, that's what they go through. They kind of go for like a recomp, and what happens is, <laughs> you feel like you start feel like you get stronger. You actually do look better, like shirtless, but no one notices no one will notice no one will think that you even go to the gym and it's kind of like it almost hurts you like damn like no one even like people ask you like oh do you go to the gym by the way i'm not even lying now i don't even say anything and people are like do you go to the gym or do you do any sports i'm like yeah like you know just i hit some weights and it's good it's good it's honestly like insane especially when you make like a big transformation then people are gonna be like whoa <laughs> and that's the things that, like that's the thing i've been getting a lot recently so look it is good um, I will say it won't like, if you have some issues in your life, filling out your t-shirt, like just having your bicep out is not going to solve it. It's, it's like, whatever, like for me, like the thing is, I guarantee you, you might feel like, okay, you might have people telling you like, Whoa, you got so big, your muscles and stuff. You still feel skinny. I feel skinny right now. I don't feel like I'm that muscular. Honestly, I feel like I'm, if anything, like, especially right now, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like nearing the end of my bulk. I feel fat. Like I kind of feel fat. Um, I feel strong. I don't feel like super like heavy in terms of like, I feel like I can still run completely fine. Um, probably not as good as I used to. But, you know, I still like, I still training, like I still train like sprinting and stuff. I still do cardio, but um, look, I feel fat. And that's just the result of the bulk. But again, like just know, like if you are going to like do this, it's not going to solve everything in your life. And if anything, it might cause it like if you didn't even really care about this stuff and now you're like mm, maybe i should like start like filling out my stuff you might actually end up having worse mental health because it's very common now that because of how much we look at social media and youtube videos we see these steroid guys like these huge steroid guys with the perfect genetics and perfect physiques you're going to feel so small when you compare it think about like it, it, here's the crazy thing is that if you train for a year you're already in like at least top 30 percent of people at least top 30%. And that's like with a shit training program as well. Just doing push-ups and stuff, you're already in like top 30%. As soon as you bulk up like 10 kilograms, you're on like 10% of people. You like you start looking at it, No, almost no one fills out their shirts. The only people that fill out their shirts are fat people. And it doesn't even count. At, at that point, filling out your shirt doesn't even count because fat people, just, it's just fat. It's not even muscle. So when you can actually fill out your shirt with like, you know, some muscle showing as well, realize that's like actually like very rare and you're going to still feel small. It's like, it's the crazy part. So obviously you need to like, it's not going to solve your problems. That's all I want to say, but getting onto the point, um, again, like I trained calisthenics for a year, didn't have any, like didn't really have that much results. The reason why is it's diet. 
honestly is that and it, it's going to sound bad and if you're only just starting out then i'd recommend just train just train like do push-ups whatever just try and stay consistent that is actually genuinely the most important part after that um do like do whatever like even like get a gym membership whatever um and then again like i won't say you can't bulk up on calisthenics it's just that i haven't done it i think it, it definitely is possible um but I, I did it like i did calisthenics for over a year then i recently started going to the gym and then when i started doing that i also started bulking like properly and that's when the size came on so is it because like i trained for a long time or for like a decent amount of time without really like gaining that much like again like i didn't really like i gained a bit of like i remember so i have a scale it measures your body fat and your muscle mass it said that in like the training that i've done i gained like three kilos of muscle roughly which is not a lot not a lot now it's like probably 10 i've probably gained like oh i actually don't know maybe it's like it's like six to ten kilos I, I i can't be sure and i'll have to check but it's something like that and before i was i was 73 kilos i was 73 kilos for a very long time i started bulking the mass came on pretty quickly now i'm like 87 like 86 i measured this morning it was 86.3 something like that um again is a lot of it like fat yeah like a bit of it is fat that, that's just the way it is like you're gonna get fat you just gotta like as long as you don't like take it to an extreme extreme then you'll be fine so again it's all about the ball like it's it's honestly just the diet like the diet is the main thing that carries you and again it's not like super hard like you train for what an hour if you train for an hour less than an hour that's perfect after that eat something like eat something in the morning that's roughly a thousand calories eat something after like again actually i can't even say that because it all depends on like who you are like your height like you know all that like your height your weight what way you're trying to get to but for me there's an app called you probably heard of this it's called my fitness pal look it up it's the app i have and even so i have, I have a phone what you can do at least on ios yes i use an iphone <laughs> for all the linux people like what um so on my phone you can set like you can have the my fitness pal apps um calories at the top so you can see it says 2,900 like remaining. So um, I have that. I just have that. If you can have something like that, then set that on your phone. So you always have a reminder that how many calories you have left. And then you can see. So my objective, it's in Italian, don't worry. So my objective, objective is 2,700. I've ate 800 today. So I had breakfast and I have 2,900 remaining. I don't even pay for the premium. Just literally like type in what you eat measure it like all you have to do is every time you eat if you have four eggs type in egg and then select four if you have four slices of bacon as well with that like that's what i had this morning then put four slices of bacon if you have um and then for example like i ate almonds and i ate um greek yogurt so what i did is i like get a scale if you don't have a food scale get one get one that's kind of big so that you can have like your plate um because you're probably going to have to eat a lot. Like if you're tall, you're going to have to eat a lot. So get a big one. Don't get a small one. Get a big one. It only costs like 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. It's such an investment. Such a, like, I'm a very stingy person. So like, I know like someone is going to be watching this. That's stingy, like 20, 30 bucks. Bro, that's like one hour of your life. Like, w like realistically, like at least for me, it's like one hour of work for me, roughly. Like ar around that, around that. One hour for something that you should be using for a very long time. Like it, I use it every single day. So it's a hundred percent worth it. Um, and then every time you eat, so example, like I get the ball, I get like this tiny ball. I set it to zero. And then I put in like one or two scoops of Greek yogurt. It says 74 grams. I type in, I type in the brand. Like I, I just look at the brand. Oh, it's Chobani, uh, Greek yogurt natural. I type that in, I find it, I click it 70 grams or whatever. Then, you know, it, it has all the macronutrients and stuff and 70 calories. Okay, let me put however many almonds. Let me like set it to zero again, 50 almonds, 50 grams of almonds. And then I eat that. And again, you just keep doing that until, honestly, at the start, if you want to, just see how much you eat. Don't purposely try to bulk. Just track how much you are eating and notice that some days are going to be like high. Some days are going to be low. Some days are going to be high. That's at least for me. That's how like, you know, those people that will eat like shit food but they always stay lean that was kind of me because even though i wasn't lean, like i wasn't six i wasn't like like i kind of like hated those guys as well because i wasn't like the six pack lean guy 
um, ever. But I was like, I was still pretty lean. I was still pretty skinny. I was just skinny fat. Like I had no muscle, but I was like, I was overall pretty skinny still. Um, it's because some days you'll eat like trash. You might eat like 4,000 calories in one day. And then the next day you eat like two or like one, like 1. 1.5. Especially if you eat like certain foods, it's very easy to eat um, very little amount of calories and be fine with it. That's why I noticed. Like even now, I'm, I like food, but I think when you eat a lot of healthy food, like that's the thing. Like if you want to bulk easy, then eat macros every day, but you're going to get fat. You're going to be unhealthy. You're going to get like heart issues, sodium issues, like all that, like all the bad stuff that you're going to get. But if you eat healthy, number one, it's going to be hard. You're actually going to realize eating less is actually kind of desired. I'm going to be cutting soon. Like as soon as it's like great Lent, like a couple of days before great Lent, I'm signing the cut. Um, it, you know, it's for religious reasons, but I'm like, you know, I'm just going to bulk as much as possible. Um, probably try and get to 90, probably 92 kilos is realistic. 92, 95. I, I don't think I can reach 95. That's going to be hard, but, um, just do that and then just go for the cut. And then it's going to be a lot of, like, I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually looking forward to it. It's just going to be easier. And it's actually better for productivity. If you're eating a lot of food, it's just kind of messing with your mind, especially like a lot of carbs and all that. Um, but again, honestly, that's it. That's actually it. It's all about tracking. And it's the most important part is consistency. Even with training. Um, if you have a day, let's say you're going to the gym like me. I go to the gym six days a week. The, the training program, it doesn't matter. If you're new, it honestly doesn't matter anything and you'll build muscle. Maybe not 100% efficiently, efficiently, but you're still going to build muscle. After a point, yeah, you want to optimize that stuff. But if you're completely new, just Focus on doing something that you can stay consistent. So if that means 100 push-ups, or if that means 10 push-ups, then do that. For example, I go to the gym six days a week. I do a, so it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then like that's one cycle. And then the next cycle is the next three days until Saturday. And then Sunday is my rest day. So it's push, pull, legs. That's what I do. And I just do like very, like just pick exercises that you also like. Like if, you, if there's the one exercise that you can just hate, then don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have to be Superman when you're beginning. Like you can like dial in everything over time. And again, if there's some days where I don't feel like going or I kind of messed up the day because I, I went too late or something that's going to mess up with my sleep, all I do is 100 push-ups. That, I, I set that as my bare minimum because it takes me like 13 minutes. Like I do like five, six sets of like 20 roughly. Maybe like some sets I, I can only do 10. And then it's good. Then it's good. So you have to set minimums for yourself. And then same with like eating. Realize that you can't be eating. So for me, like it's 3,700 that I have to eat. That's the amount of calories I have to eat. You can't have it where there's 3,700 and then the next day is 3,200 or like two, like 2,005. You have to stay consistent. It doesn't matter that one day you eat a lot and then the next day you eat less. You need to stay consistent. That's the most important part. Um, and just have that minimum for yourself. And again, um, just make sure you like, I think if you do it on the app, it'll calculate like how many calories you should be eating. Check some websites as well. So, you know, like roughly from what I've done, like roughly I should be eating 3,700, maybe even 4,000 if I want to like, cause right now my weight has been kind of stagnating a bit. So I might have to increase the calories even more. Like I might have to eat like 4,000. If I want to get to 95 kilos, I might have to eat like 4,500 calories, which I don't think I can do. It's just, it's a little bit too expensive, a little bit um it's too much that's actually way too much um but we'll see we'll see where time takes me um i'm trying to think if there's anything else look honestly the attention is good like the thing is before you would work out you, like you could do some hard workouts and no one will notice because you're just not eating enough it doesn't matter how strong you are so, like again if you don't care about size then sure but if you do want to get some compliments and stuff even if you're not ripped people notice that's the crazy part. Cause you see yourself every day. Like, again, I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now. I feel skin. Like I still kind of feel like, yeah, like obviously I don't look as skinny as I used to, but I still feel skinny. That, that's honestly the truth. I still feel like a skinny, like twig. That's genuinely the truth. People look at me. I like the thing is I look at other people now. I'm like, well, clearly there is some discrepancy. Cause if this guy, like I look at some guy, that guy would actually be skinny. You know what I mean? So, um, look, it is good. But again, Make sure your mental is in check. Make sure your mental is good because at the end of the day, like if you're chasing it like a lot and you're looking at all these Instagram people and like people on YouTube, 
you're genuinely going to have like mental health issues. You're genuinely going to have like a really bad, me- like you're going to think like very bad thoughts. So just make sure you're in check, honestly. Um, anyways, I hope, anyways, I think that's all the basic info. Just train and eat and make sure you calculate, like you track your, and make sure you track with my fitness pal. And, um, it's not that hard. It, it doesn't have to be your entire life. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.